everybody. Thank you. I think that was certainly more to your defensive identity, at least of turning them over and sort of scrambling on the ball pressure. What do you, you think of that part of your game? Yeah, we did a good job. I think um, we're a little bit all or nothing tonight, right? We created a lot of turnovers and and um, certainly, um, you know, was a huge factor. I, I just, we were aggressive and we were active playing the passes. The, the guy guarding the ball was active with his hands. We tipped a lot, um, made some really good reads on, on some things and just had them, you know, we had them you know, a little disrupted most of most of the night when we did, right? It was it was um really I thought we played hard, right? Uh we were on the glass constantly. Um only eight offensive rebounds, but all of them were cha you know, we were challenging. We were there making the defensive rebounds for them incredibly hard, I thought, which was which was um just good, just just in general doing what we want to do. Willing to give up a high field goal percentage against if you can get 30 points off turnover? Well, I'd, lo I'd love to do both, Doug. I'd love to turn them over like crazy and make them shoot 33% if we could. Yeah, but. Um, and, and I think that like it's just a little, you know, a little streaky, right? I think that there's just there's a couple two or three minute, four minute gaps in the game where we are just too many easy buckets in succession, and then we'd stop them eight out of nine or something like that, and just um, little segments of the game we got to clean up a little bit. When Scotty's doing the three quarter court pickup or the more pressure defense in the backcourt, is that mostly just the flourish of his game, or do you guys say this is what you're going to be doing from that? Well, we got we get in. There's a couple teams that we that we um, end up playing like this, where we put uh, Scotty on the the main ball handler and OG on the center, and then it, it makes it an easy switch. It takes takes a lot of the lob threat and single side corner three threat out when we're able to do that. And he just kind of he likes to do that. But I I thought his energy up the court defensively and the way he pushed the ball offensively was was huge. It just do just. Like we had zero pace last night, either direction, and tonight we had great pace, and he was a big part of that. Was Christian the guy you want to take in the? Yep, you know, drew, the drew, drew, yep that's just how we drew it up. <laughs> you, seem, you seem to be more. They did a good no on that play. They did a good job. We we shifted it over because. Uh, Aiton was guarding Scotty, and as soon as we shifted, they shifted off us. So it it put it put um, us in in a funky situation, and um, worked out perfectly. He just seemed to handle himself though pretty well, playing a very good center. Yeah, you know what? He's the last the last couple uh, three four days. He's he's uh, seemed to rebound with uh, some energy. He's feeling, I think, a little better physically right now. And um, I know that's kind of weird because he had a little. Uh, MRI situation, and I think sometimes, usually, like you get an MRI, they're going to find something in there, right? Like if all of us went for an MRI, they'd find something on. on they gave a completely clean one for him, and I think that may have helped him a little bit, right? That he's, uh, you know, it's, it's not a thing. We didn't see a thing in there, and he was just like so bouncy. Kind of Maybe I don't know. It seemed like a little bit. How's that for you? Uh, talk for the game about having a solo 20 minute session talking to the team is that effort wise and sort of overall energy wise the kind of response you were hoping for after yesterday yeah for sure i mean i think you're um i think you're um you know, it's not it's not the easiest decision in the world when you're going to do one of those sessions. I think you're rolling the dice a little bit, right? And it's a roll of the dice that turned out. What does it say about Christian that he's willing to take that? Is that important for us? Well, he's a pretty good shooter. We haven't seen much of his shooting, right? But he's he's pretty good shooter. Like, he kind of came in as a good, like, 17-foot shooter, right? He hasn't really taken any or got – he's got really good mechanics and touch. But, you know, in the last – I don't know, a month or so of the player development people have really, you know, we've tried to really work hard with him on starting with his corner threes because we think he's got, you know, again, good mechanics to, to do it and pretty good touch. So they've been working on it, and that's nice, nice for those, I think those, those player development coaches, you know, they, they um, certainly get a kick out of spending a month working on that stuff and then having it come through big in a game. Thank you guys. As they should. Oh, sorry.
Like you guys leaned on Garrett pretty the late player pretty yep. heavy. Um, was that Pascal being exhausted and you guys having to No, oh, Jerry was Jerry just had it going. Right, he just had it going and it was nice to kind of flip back and forth between them a little bit and um, they they weren't they weren't um, exactly um, giving Pascal a ton of space out there just to get the ball to him. So it was nice to be able to to go and and I you know, will credit our, our execution at the offensive end has been well below average. It's one of the things we discussed in the 20 minute session today. Um, but we really executed some nice stuff down the stretch uh, that we haven't run for a while. So it was stuff that that's been in the been kind of back in the playbook or whatever but I don't know examples one of the you remember when Pascal kind of came wheeling off to the right and blew to the basket for a layup late that was that was something we haven't run for a while but they're again <clears throat> talk about you know screening early early parts of the possession playing with a lot more pace cutting off that stuff a lot harder and making better decisions and it's another thing I thought Scotty did tonight too you know was was you didn't see the ball stick with him much he either shot the ball or he or he attacked the closeout, and that's you know something we talked about today as well. I know that his plus minus for Thad it's not ideal, but how did you feel he impacted the game? I thought Thad was good. Just with a, just with a. You're right. Those two guys, uh, Chris and Thad, don't don't end up with a very good plus minus. But um, I thought they both were playing hard and assertive. Right. I thought Thad was really was really just like you know. I don't. I'm, I, I don't want to not play. So here, I'm going to go out there and be assertive and play. And he made a couple tough moves, man, to knock knock people back and and finish. And and I just thought he was playing. And he was really engaged. Coach, when you talk about the rolling the dice on those types of conversations when it comes to like effort and stuff, is the flip side like them not responding to that as well, or what's the, what's the other side? <laughs> there's, of a, it? there's a spectrum there that they, they respond really well all the way down to not responding at all. So you hope it, you hope it doesn't land on the on the other side of it, yeah. Talk about you guys not executing the way you wanted, like offensively. What, what is some of the stuff that you wanted to see? Just just um, pace in general. Like, and I don't just mean racing it up the floor, but that's part of pace. Just, just when a play starts, man, you got to go. And we were, last night we were jogging through our our stuff and you're not going to get anything when you jog right you're not going to put any separation on the defense you're not going to put them under any duress they're just going to they're going to jog with you and be there when you're jogging so just pace was the main thing and and just a little better screen setting you mentioned the switching the pick and rolls with uh, the scotty and og so, you know, scotty was working really hard you know fronting aiden on the back side of a mm -hmm. lot of those switches he winds up with four points tonight i mean anything thinking about the way that you guys have been hurt maybe by some big guys in the past, anything to take forward there? In terms of well, we did a good job on Eaton, right? I think that, um, um, you know, the game plan, um, I don't, I don't really want to tell you what it was on him because I think we got to play him again, but we executed it like a very high level on him. All right, so they did a good job on the switch. They made his catches tough. They 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 challenged his shot. I mean, he had he had some looks, but they were all just a little bit under duress, right? And that's what we wanted. Nick, um, your team hasn't really been able to string together a winning streak so far this year. Uh, you know, and you have a couple of days off before your next game. Uh, sort of, how do you feel like you're going to able to try and key in and maybe carry some momentum, or is it hard to do when you know you're not playing for a couple of days? Well, I mean, we gotta we gotta take a mandatory mandatory day off tomorrow, right after a back to back. Um, I've just asked them to get focused in, and the only thing I'm asking them to get focused in is uh, is on the effort areas, so that when that ball goes up the next time we play, we're we're ready to do those effort things. And you know, you guys have heard me say this a million times: if we do those things, then we're gonna put ourselves in position to win each night out, no matter who we're playing, where we're playing. Right, so that's what the focus is. Is it harder to preach effort as opposed to something technical? I know one seems like it's something you can just pick up and do, and the other seems like it's something you have to achieve. No, that's a good. That's a good question because um, that was kind of part of part of today too. Is the technical stuff doesn't matter? Like it's like 0.05 percent of it if the effort part isn't there. Like. So it's it's it doesn't matter unless the effort's there, and then when you get the effort, you can start start.